Usually when we talk about abundance, we're not talking about abundant peace, but that's what I want you to feel today, and I pray that you will. Here's something I'd like to share with you that Victor Hugo once said. He said, have courage for the great sorrows in life and patience for the small ones. And when you have laboriously accomplished your daily task, go and sleep in peace. God is awake. I love that. Psalms 119 verse 165 says, Abundant peace belongs to those who love God's instruction. Nothing makes them stumble. Well, my friend, on many occasions, our outward struggles are simply manifestations of the inner conflicts that we feel when we stray away from God's guidance. What's needed is a refresher course in God's peace. The words of Psalms 119.165 remind us that God promises peace to those that accept God's instruction. Today and every day, count yourself among that number, study God's promises carefully, and trust them completely. And when you do, you're going to be a beacon of light and hope and wisdom for your family and for your world. So don't focus too intently on the frustrations of everyday living. Instead, invite God to preside over every aspect of your life. It's the best way to live, the surest path to peace, today and forever. And I pray that you have abundant peace in your life.